PlayStation. Oh wait, that was just me. Ooh, so pretty. Hello. My name is PS5. You played my father. <laughs> Prepare to play. <laughs> so, this is the PS5 setup, which I just has with blah blah blah, which I decided to record because I also recorded the Xbox One, not Xbox. God damn it! Every time Xbox Series X setup, just on a whim. I originally set this up to capture when I fired it up for the first time. HDCP was immediately on and locked down, so I had to hook up my HDCP bypass circuit. See my associated videos for that. Connect your controller to the console with the USB cable and press the PS button. And because it took me so long to hook that up, I learned that the PS5, if you don't. Can, excuse me. If you don't connect the controller fast enough, it starts talking at you in multiple languages to tell you to hook up your goddamn controller. So this is a nice little Easter egg probably a lot of people don't see because they just plug their controller in straight away. You're welcome. <laughs> alright, alright, I'm gonna do it, hold on. Don't call me LaDouche PS. Connect your controller to the console with the USB cable and press I'm doing it! I'm doing it! There, I've done it. Yeah, okay. No, dear God, please stop. Please, God, stop. Alright, so since the PlayStation controller, unlike the Xbox controller, comes with a built-in lithium-ion rechargeable battery, I'm going to plug it into my charger real quick, since I don't want to sit next to my console. It's across the room. The battery has a little bit of juice, but <clears throat> without showing black borders. Perfect. So I've got that charging. I actually... <laughs> Surprisingly enough, even though it cost me money in batteries, I like the Xbox using double A's because they last forever. I have to recharge my PlayStation controllers every couple of days. I don't have to change the batteries in my Xbox controllers, but at once every other month or so? I don't even know. It's crazy. Adjust your PS5's HDR. I mean, this screen doesn't technically support HDR, so we're just going to go ahead and move through this with the defaults. If you have a game disc, insert it. Oh, that's cool. I don't have a game disc. Unless it's Modern Warfare. I guess I could have it install while I'm doing it. But I'm going to download Cold War, so. No need. Sorry, I don't, have, I don't have a disc. That's cool. That's a cool option, though. Cool. Control the amount of power consumed. Always applies the latest updates. Yeah, optimized, obviously. Come on now. Is anyone in these day and age is in this day and age really that concerned about power usage? Really, really. Yep. System software update is optional in this. So the Xbox is just like we're doing it. All right, update it. Get it, kid. Get it, kid. It. Is this exciting? Our console setups, exciting content. This is what's going to make me go viral. I will be rich beyond my wildest dreams. Because I capture my console setups. <laughs> Don't touch your goddamn PS5. You could just put that on the screen. We would get it. Don't fucking touch me. I'm working.
So I'm sad at myself. I actually got this yesterday, Friday the 13th, which is good luck. My PS5, that is. And uh, I was going to set it up after work. And uh, ended up, Seb, my son, asked me to play a game. He wanted to play uh, a game that was on Game Pass called, like, uh, Really Efficient Delivery Service or something like that. And so we ended up playing that for, like, two hours. It was so much fun. I ended up hooking up my capture device and capturing some of it. Oh, no. The screen is... OBS has gotten confused. Hold on. Oh, dear. You guys missed, like, most of the update file install. Are you going to forgive me? You probably won't. I deserve it. I have failed you. And I failed the PS5 because I didn't set it up when I got it. I played on the Xbox instead. I am ashamed. I'll make it up to you. I got two weeks off from work, so I'm going to play shit out of both these consoles. <clears throat> Alright. It's rebooting again. There's a lot of rebooting going on. PlayStation. Ooh. Spotlight. Press the PlayStation button. It doesn't look like that anymore. What? Where'd it go? Oh no. Oh. I have to figure out my power situation in this office. I'm drawing so much power through so many cords wrapped around each other that I get caught out, so it's just not a good thing. <laughs> Alright. Hook it up. Press the PlayStation button. I've done it. I've done that. Do I have to plug it in again? I'm gonna have to go plug this back into my console again. Hold on. standard for the new generation. What is going on? That's, this isn't good. <laughs> Open the PlayStation app to sign in. Well, this is new and fancy. Let me try that. Although, lately when I've been trying to open the PlayStation app, it has been saying that it's failed to log in. So I'm not sure I can use the PlayStation app. Yeah, it just says... This is what's been happening lately if I've tried to use the PlayStation app. Maybe uninstall it and reinstall it. Uninstall. This is the world we live in now. A world of software. And as a software engineer, I am forlorn because <laughs> I know how software works. And uh, also, you know, it's got a job pretty much forever. PlayStation app. Installing again. Come on, focus, camera. Whatever. You believe me. <laughs> I've never let you down. I've never told you guys anything that I didn't follow through on, like, nine years ago when I posted my daily video schedule and then immediately never did that. It's like the kiss of death for a, someone on YouTube. Here's exactly how often I'm going to upload. Immediately doesn't do it. Alright. I have uninstalled and reinstalled of the PlayStation app. Let's see if it works this time. You guys can ride along with me. Hey, look at that. Sign in. Although I'd already signed in the other one, so maybe it's the sign in that's not going to work. That is my email address. That is my password, I think. Nope, that is not my password. That is my password. Please? That is my password, okay. Ready, set, play. Great, next. Keep the conversation going. Okay, cool. Great. 
Don't miss a thing. Cool. Link to console. Your PS4 is set as your link to console. That's about to change. <laughs> You're all set up and ready to go? Alright. Alright. So now go to settings. Sign in on PS5. Look at that. Enable camera access. Yes, please. Allow. Let's QR scan the screen. Bingo bongo. Oh, technology. That's me. That's where's my control? Oh, it's still over there. <laughs> I've seriously got to figure out that power situation. That makes me very nervous. All right. I'll buy with my ugly mug. Let's see. What have we got? Social and open. Sure. Let's do that. Apply. Let's just do it. Nope, that's cool. You guys can... You guys can stalk me too. I'm cool with the stalking. You're signed in. Set a passcode. Require a passcode. Secure it. I just want to log in. I don't want it. I don't want steps between me and games. <clears throat> Protect your account. After you enter your password, we'll send you a verification code that you enter on your console. Use an authenticator app on your mobile device. I'm probably going to have to skip over this part because uh, because I think if you guys wrote down this code, you'd be able to get my authentication credential. So I may have to skip this part. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Authenticator. I have that. Save key. Cool. All right. Into the, into the code. This is some this is some quality two factor authentication for the record. That is fan. Yeah. So I definitely can't show you that. If you're an authenticator. All right, taking a picture of this. Dude, this is secure AF, man. This is like what I do for my work software. All right, my mobile number. I'm also not gonna be showing this to you guys because uh, not because I don't trust you who are subscribers, but people just stopping by. You don't need my cell number, I'm just saying. If you want my cell number, get in the Discord and ask me for it. Enter the code we sent you. I also don't have great cell service here. I've got like cell over Wi-Fi. There we go. Three nine nine four six one two. Good. Verify. That's me. Dude, all right. <laughs> hey! Wow, that's cool. All right, that's super cool. Yes. Multiplayer, play first, zombies, dead ops. Yes! Oh my god. Dude. This is fan- that is fantastic. Look at that. All right, I am super impressed. Immediately. Choose which apps to watch video. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Hey, you guys want to put Plex on there? <laughs> I mean, I use Plex. Transfer beta from PS4. Do you want to do this? Sure. Make sure your PS4 is turned on. It is. And both of them are connected to the same network. They are. To do it use a wired LAN connection. Let's try it again. Whoop, whoop. 
Those power flickers, they make me nervous. That's not good. Cool. Press the power button on your PS4 for one second until it beeps. Alright. That was less than one second, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna have to re rewire my entire office for power because this is not right. This is flickering way too much. Like either I'm right on the edge of my current limit or there's just way too much interference. Select whose data to transfer. Yeah. Me, Seb, and Evie. Let's do it. Warm in my office. A lot of electronics in here. Trophy information isn't synced. Oh, that's weird. By selecting trophies from the home screen. All right. Why is that not a thing? Okay. I want all my save data? That's an awful lot of save data for that con whatever. I can delete it if I don't need it. Oh. Yes, please. Uh Oh, these are these are game installs. Oh, look at that. Cause you know, I'm gonna be playing these on the new game thing. I beat Uncharted, it'd be Last of Us, I don't need those. Minecraft, I'm not, I don't need right now. Rocket League, I don't need right now. Well, no, I don't need right now. Spotify, no. Grand Theft Auto? I mean, otherwise I'm going to have to do it over the network. Well, no, that's a disc. Well, you know what? I can always go back and delete, delete these if I need to. Minecraft. Might as well. Like I said, I can always delete them if I need to. It just saves me downloads. Console storage. Available 54 gigabytes. <laughs> Fuck you, Modern Warfare. You know what? I'll leave you on the old console. You're being left behind. Jesus Christ. 50. I'm gonna have to... I wanna play that one on the new one, just because I've been having weird hiccups on the old one. We'll see. I don't play this enough. I just don't. Sorry. I'll go back to the old one if I need it. Same for you. Same for you. You guys do fine on the old console. But I'm playing playthroughs of those. So, New console for those. That's better. <laughs> Estimated time, five minutes. Cool. Right over the network. Preparing to transfer. This is more thorough, it is taking longer. Ninety two percent. That means I got a ninety two percent. I'm making a fool of myself. Rolling up on honey, she like you don't know hundred ways to make me call you big papa. Cause I don't, yo. Name that movie. Uh-oh. No, it's restarting. <laughs> A lot of restarts. Let's see if I'm going to have to start OBS again. These restarts bungle it up after a couple of restarts here. What you got? What you got? What you got? What you got? The white light is on the PS5. There we go. Huh? Oh, it looked like the PS4 because of the color. For the record, the PS5 is a beast. A beast. Let's see if I can 
can't really walk you over there. You can't even see the Series X behind it because of how beast it is. Let's see. Look at that. I know it's a mess in here. I got a lot of electronics that I'm setting up. God, I can't tilt it right. <laughs> yeah, that is the Series X right next to the PS5. And a beast. This thing is huge. It's not as wide, obviously. Well, maybe it's not obvious, but it's not as wide as the Series X is. The Series X is, you know, a, not a cube, but it's a projected cube. So it's square and then projected. But so it's wide. It's the same dimension wide as it is deep. So it's wider than the PS5, but not nearly as tall <laughs> and not not as deep. And the PS5, so. It's not a criticism, right? They took all the hardware of the Xbox and they put it in a little box, in an Xbox, um, which is space efficient. It looks pretty elegant. The PS5 also looks elegant AF, but if you think about the fact that the PS5 is essentially holding PC hardware, that's basically a micro ATX PC case. And for that, it's actually a good size. All right, rebooting again. Let's see what we got. Oh, it tripped up OBS. Okay. So it's restarted so many times that I've had to restart OBS twice just to keep up. All right, that time wirelessly turning on the PlayStation controller did work. Didn't have to be wired in that time. Welcome, finally, to PlayStation 5. Ooh. Ready for an adventure? Yes. Astro's plane preloaded. So you can, that's what I like about this. You can, it's ready to immediately jump into something. The Series X, I was like, okay, I can't do anything for a while. You know what? Let's jump straight into it. Just because I can. Just because it took me two and a half hours to play anything on the Xbox because it had to install and download. Because the, the game I had on disc for the Xbox Series X was Assassin's Creed. I actually had a game disc, and I stuck it in there. And it had to download a huge update. So... This is already superior. I will press any button. Where's the any button? Where's the any key? Alright. Oh, not my PC. Let's show off my fancy new dual sense. So it's gonna show off a fancy haptic feedback and stuff on this. Oh, I see that. PlayStation texture on there. God, that's microscopic. I use some real macro images to to show that the texture is made out of that, but those that molding is so detailed. Ooh. Alright. We're just gonna go ahead since it's doing things. Oh my god, that's so cool. Dude, there's like a there's like a hard, like there's some resistance that you kind of have to push through, like a hard stop there. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Well, yeah, we, yeah, touch me. I'm sorry, but after the launch games on PS5, did any game use the touchpad, really? Other than tapping it to, to work as an extra, like, menu button? You can feel them. You can feel them in there. The, the, the haptic rumble makes it feel like there's multiple things in there, not just one thing rumbling. It feels like... Oh, and it feels like they're like falling from side to side. <laughs> That's cool. It feels like they're falling around inside the controller. Oh, no, that's cool. What's up? Oh... <laughs> I can fillet my controller now, that's fantastic. Oh, that's cool. Oh my god, that's cool. Already, that's cool. That's so cool. The Series X controller is literally... You can literally use the Xbox One X controller on the Series X, which is a cool feature, by the way. Your old controllers still work on the Series X. 
But there's no additional functionality other than this one new button on the controller. Otherwise it works exactly the same. Which it works great, but this is... The haptic feedback on the triggers is going to be cool for someone who really loves shooters. So let's see. Oh dear. Oh dear. All the little vibrations are very, very tactile. Oh no, invert Y, invert Y, invert Y. Oh, please tell me you can invert Y. Is that the share button? That's gonna be the share button. Oh. Cool. It's the capture menu, cool, all right. Um. I want to invert my y-axis. <laughs> Let me invert my y-axis. Oh, okay. Hold it. Double jump. Got it. Cool. That is very tactile. It's just the little rumbles in my hand feel very... They don't feel like a rumble. They don't just feel like the controller is vibrating to let you know something's happening. It feels like... It feels like you can feel what's happening. That's cool. That is cool. Yeah, suck it, bubble. Uh, square. Am I punching the wires? Huh? Oh, yeah. That is very tactile. You can hear it. It's audible, too. Although, that's probably the speaker. Yeah, there's a speaker in it. I will do just that. Alright, probably missed something in a menu about what I'm supposed to do here. CPU Plaza. Can I beat this bubble up? Oh! No, can't beat up that bubble. Ah, please. Why can I not invert my Y axis? <laughs> is that is that like a setting? Can I do that in like the console? Okay. Trigger. Okay. Standard. Standard. Whatever. General. No. What options do you have? Oh, you can turn off the Bluetooth. Okay. <laughs> so not there. It's kind of cool that it pops up like in-game. I need system settings, please. Sound. Switcher. Let's customize. Oh, customize that. Oh, that's cool. Power. Network. I need network on there. All right, let's go. Let's see, we got settings somewhere. Media settings. Accessories is what we could already get to. Game app settings. Vertical camera movement. Yes, inverted. Third person view. Inverted. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Now please work. That fixed it. <laughs> Now that is a system level setting, if I've ever seen one. That, way better than the Series X. Way better than the Series X, all right. Okay, uh, PlayStation. Oh, oh, the old original PlayStation, that's fantastic. Can I hit the power button? What is in here?
PlayStation Labo. Okay. Alright. Take that, data. Data, 8 megabyte data blocks. <laughs> Those of you who didn't play the original PlayStation, the memory card used the block system for game saves. You would put the memory card in and there were blocks and each game took a s certain number of blocks instead of uh, instead of just like actual data size they blocked it out oh the d-pad sorry guys oh the original dual shock the original controller for the playstation did not have rumble did not have sticks it was just Plastic. The DualShock came out late in the console cycle, in the console's life cycle. Can I use it? No. Okay. The thumbstick, the analog stick, that was not on the original PlayStation controller. It was just a D-pad, so it looked pretty much. Matter of fact, I have one in probably out there. It looked almost like this, but there was a wire, no touchpad, start and select, and there were no sticks. There was no rumble, it was just a D-pad in the, in the four buttons. Oh, this is so nostalgic. What do we got here? Oh, the little ball pit game thing. Oh, that is... Wow, there's a lot of resistance on that. Wow, that's amazing! What am I doing? Oh, I don't have enough. I don't have enough coins to play or something. What? And then back. This, these feel normal, like just like the PlayStation 4s do, completely unobstructed. That's that's wicked. Oh, that's so cute. This is so cute. Oh, a little process of chips. Dinosaur. <laughs> this is so nostalgic. Uh, all the shapes. Oh god. <laughs> oh, it's like I literally punched a baby. Oh god. Okay, this is friggin' cute. There's no PSVR in <laughs> PlayStation 1. In case you were wondering. What have I done? Oh, you keep track. Okay. All right. So this like keeps track of your progress in this game, I guess. Ridge Racer. Was there a Ridge Racer on the original PlayStation? No, there was on PlayStation 2. Spyro. Oh. <laughs> Nerd now. Oh my god, it's so cute. Oh, that's so cute. So what happens if I nothing? <laughs> I'm just gonna punch everybody. All right, Nemo. Okay. Have I gone all the way around? There were no USB ports on the original PlayStation either. Definitely not an optical audio port. These are like the PS... When did... PS3? When these ports started showing up? This! Those... Well, no, that's still an HDMI port. That's a power plug-in. Interesting. Hey, Call of Duty's ready to play. Look at that. This is cool. It has a USB. Man, it makes me want to look look around the wall just to see all the ports. Does it do anything in these ports? No. Why am I nerding out about this? Those are what a cool little details. Oh, I love it. All right, get out of here. Let's go. Let's go. There's no there's no sprint that I'm aware of. Hold on. No punch, jump. That's pretty much it. No sprint. Toddle. Toddle is the default speed. Toddling. Toddling right along. All right. It's a P Plaza. I want to just go pull on that. Memory Meadow. I mean, kind of. Hold on. What? I've started a disco.
Yeah. All right. Buddy. Oh, teeter totter. Let's go. Oh no. Oh dear. I bungled that. Bungled it right up. Bunged it. Mungo Bungo Data Transfer. Oh, the Data Transfer is still going. So now, at this point, I've been playing. I'm having fun. And. Damn it, I did it again. And I've got games loaded and ready to play. This is a way better startup experience than the Xbox. Shouldn't have taken that many tries. <laughs> what? My controller pulse. Did my PlayStation reboot? The PlayStation 4 turned back on. <laughs> After the data transfer completed, the PlayStation 4 powered itself back up and it and my HDMI switch input picked it up. That was Sorry, that confused me. I don't know what happened. So it was like right when I... What timing on that? What did I... Did I pick something up? Whatever. Oh, I, one of one of four mystery puzzle pieces. Okay. What... What... A, the timing on that. No. <laughs> you said I didn't go all the way down. Okay. I'm awful. I will not be doing Wheezy's little robot demo game college. Yes. Oh, dude. More! Oh, tightrope. Well, not a tightrope, like an electric zipline. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, shoot. Come on, come on. All my mini moons of platforming have prepared me for this day. The old tropes. Hadouken! Oh, I missed a coin! Oh! Oh, no, this cannot be. <laughs> I will not allow it. Yeah! And then what? Do I like dive off? Really? Here we go, Assassin's Creed style. What? Oh. Well done. Well, all right. <laughs> huh? Okay, cool. Oh, what's that? Hey, come down. Come here. Come here, thing. Come down. How do I? I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Ah, too low. A little low, Coog. A little low. <laughs> yeah. I'm good. I'm so good. Uh, these these are gonna be trickier. Oh, looks a little Xboxy. 
No judgment. But... Alright, let's go to memory whatever zone. And then I'm gonna get out of here, because we'll do more of this later, but... I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I'm very, very impressed with this controller. Memory Meadow, Gusty Getaway. Oh. Oh, little robo squirrel. Excuse me. Can I make you fall? Just let go. Just let go. Give up. <gasps> Puzzly piece. Oh, hi. I'm afraid there's nothing I can do for you at this particular juncture. Cool. Secret cloudy cloud coins. The graphics are very crisp and smooth. This is effortlessly smooth. Excuse please. Excuse please. Oh, oh, see, there you go. That's a PlayStation 1 controller port. Right there. Beautiful. Oh, the nostalgia. Oh, no. You, yo, you bad, bad boys. No, hold on. Don't hold on. What? No way. Yeah. Almost went down. Almost went down hard. Assassin's Creed. We're hiding in there. Hi. Not your face. What? Oh, power punch. What? Dude, cool. Nope. Nope. Oh, there we go. There we go. No, oh, you guys look bad. Eat it. Yeah. Suck it, wench. Peace out. Can I climb? No. Hurt. Oh, God. Hadouken. Alright. Bouncy bounce. Give it. Hey, envelope head, you've got a message for me? <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey. Oh, God. Oh, gotta grab it. Got it. Oh. That was intense. Yeah. Excuse please. Excuse please. I didn't like get to explore like that area down. I gotta go back. I gotta go back. I gotta go back. I didn't. Oh, I got hit by something. Fall. I want. I want to fall. Let me fall. Ugh, I didn't explore that area down there. Ow. All right. Go. The rumble. Rumble's good. I feel it. I can feel the wind in my nuggets. Like a spawn point. Oh, something in the tree? Yeah. Don't you don't you mess with me, evils. Oh, umbrella. Cause it's raining. Oh, you're electric. Oh dear. Thank you, please. Thank you. Thank you, please. Hi, right, guys. Yeah, don't worry me. Oh god. Yeah, kind of expected that. Not sure what I was supposed to do. Oh, there's animation playing up there. Ah. 
Lasers. Lasers of death. Got it. Death laser doom. Yep. Can I do that to you guys too? Yeah, I can. Death lasers of death for everyone. What about for these? Yeah, I can. Hi right, guys. Take that, thank you. Yes, please, thank you. Excuse, please. Oh, he's dabbing. He's dabbing. He's a dabby dabberoo. It's gonna eject me from the level and I didn't go to that little area at the bottom. Fast lane fields. Oh, like part two? That's satisfying. That's a little satisfying. Oh, that's... that's... pretty nifty. Pretty nifty. I mean, it's a novelty, but... a nifty novelty. Let's do some rollies. Oh god. Come back, come back. Gotta get all them coins, boy. Rolly roll time. Whee! Oh, that's the stuff. All right, let's back it up. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. Excuse me, please. Bonk. Uh, roll up the hill. Roll up the hill. Roll up the hill. Uh, come on. Can I? Can I bonk him all the way off the tree? Oh, he's just sliding off perpetually. That's uh. Sisyphus's tree. Oh, bowling. Yes, please. Here we go. Ready? Let's go. Let's roll it. Oh, I suck. I suck. Donk. <laughs> Sorry, I'll take the spare. Is bouncy? Bouncy. 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 Oh, disco music. That looks kind of like, uh, what was it, Jumpin' Jack Flash, one of the original PS1 games? Is that what it was? The Robo Rabbit? Jumping Flash, that's what it's called, Jumping Flash. Huzzah! Oh dear. Give him the give him the business. I've I've whiffed hard. Let's go. Let's get it. <laughs> yes! Suck it. You hold it to stop. Got it. There's an irritating level of replayability in this level. Which is to say, I just kind of want to do it and move on. And the game's like, just keep playing. There's secret areas, and there's extra coins and stuff. I mean, I guess maybe if I didn't have any other games to play. It's like I did that on purpose. I did, because I thought that was the way to go. I can feel all those little bumps in the controller. That's friggin' cool. Take the big one. Take the, all the puzzle piece. Why is this so cool? It is. It just is. It's just cool. Dark. Yeah, F you, man. Yep, excuse me, please. Excuse me, please. 
I'll Hadouken you all. Super Hadoukens. I'll give you all the Hadoukens, thank you. Yep, we're going for you. Oh good, there was a bouncy down there. I was like, I'm just gonna die. Damn. Jump on that memory chip. Oh dear. Whew. That was an expert level juke. Oh god. Good thing there's a checkpoint. I'm trying to bring the controller up and there's interesting stuff to see. Oh, it cycles through. Got it. Kachop, kachop, kachop. Roger. Yep, screw you. Oh dear. Nailed it. I knew that. That was pure skill. I didn't at all completely luck through that. Excuse, please. Thank you. Good jump, good jump, good jump. Ooh! Dodge that. Ooh! <laughs> Almost made it. Almost made it. Wait, what? Did it like respawn all that stuff behind me? What? Oh, I was going this way. I was like... But I could also go that way. And there's a puzzle piece up there. Where I'm going. I'm glad it, I meant to die so that I would be able to explore this better. Makes all those shake, huh? Excuse, please. Excuse, please. What are those? Oh. Aha! Nailed it. Hey you. Bye you. These are swamps. Straight up Mario swamps. Oh god. He who hesitates is lost. Does that mean I didn't get the puzzle piece? I already got it. Okay. Here we go. Asobi. It must be a Japanese thing. Oh, I missed the coin. So I just have to slow play the clouds. Got it. Slow play the clouds. Maximize cloud life retention. I didn't slow play it enough. I need to slow play it more. Surprisingly hard little section from my dumb brain. Ah, sorry. Can I turn you off? Can I go punch your power button? I'm just gonna have to. I'm just gonna have to run through it, huh? I ain't got time. I ain't got time to time it. I just gotta go. All right. Excuse you. Nailed it. Took me 75 tries, but I did it. Yes! Oh, hello, great grand robot. God, it's still going. Alright, we might have to. We might have to just stop. <laughs> this is so much. Oh, yeah. Zip it again. Alright. Really roll time. Oh, PlayStation port, so cool. Oh, a pinball. Oh, a pinball. Oh, a pinball. 
Uh huh. Give it to me. Give me the business. Lock it in. Yep. No, I need that other corner. Come on now. Give it to me. Lock it in. Oh yeah. I'm so pinball. Nope, not yet. I got one pin left. Get that big coin. Come on. Oh, click it as halt. Not right. Oh, it just locks the brakes up. Okay, okay. Alright, one pin left. You're mine, Penny. Nailed it. Uh. Got him! <laughs> um, drop some. Drop some extra coins there. Got him. Come on. Come on. Give me that coin. Yep. Alright. Give me out of here. Thanks, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ice, oh dear. No, 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 shh, shh, shh. Ooh, that is physics. That is physics indeed. Scurvy, 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 scurvy. All right. Hazard, yeah, sounds like my kind of place. Let's go. Let's go down Danger Road. Can I turn the camera? No, I can't. Ooh, ooh, he, ooh, hiya. Hey, ho, ha, he. Oh. Oh. Got it. Get momentum. A little too much. A little too much counter, counter turn. Alright. Let's make it. Let's make it happen. Come on. Come on. Rainbow Road. Oh. It's a tough turn. It's a tough turn. What's up there? There's, something up, there's gotta be something up there. Okay. I'm done. <laughs> I ain't doing it. I'm going. I'm going. I'm I don't care. I'm out of care. I have run out of care. Can I leave? Let me leave. I'm done. You're good. We're good. Alright. Oh, it's like the last... Oh, it's like the last part. Uh. And then, all right, and then we're done. Yeah, locking up the brakes on the ice road, probably not going to be a winning solution. Nice and easy. Easy does it. Easy does it. Easy does it. Easy does it. Mmm. Mm -mm. Oh, you can use the little. This is the original Dual Shock. The analog button. You can turn the analog sticks on and off. The PlayStation controller before this did not have these sticks. That's cool. Oh, man. Alright. Boing me out of here. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Slow and steady. Wins the race. Slow. No, no, no. Oh, yeah. Another artifact? Is that that? I don't know what that is. Was there like a pocket station? I didn't have those in the States. Big in Japan. Interact. <sighs> what? That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Later, Gators. No, no, no. Shh, shh. Okay. Hook it up. Mm hmm. 
Yeah, take it. Am I done? Asobi. That PlayStation 1 blue boot screen. Sit there now and beautiful. It's beautiful. This way, this way, little robot friends. This way. Let's do it. Oh, the open button depresses when you push when you open it. I just got an email from Comcast informing me I've used 90% of my monthly data allotment, which is 1.2 terabytes of data, because of downloading digital games on the Series X and the uh, PS5. And I just downloaded last night uh, all of Call of Duty Cold War on my PS4. So, and by last night, I mean two nights ago. So, yeah, I, I got to download. <laughs> Call of Duty like four times this week because it was the full Cold War download on uh, the series or on the PS4 Pro plus the update for Modern Warfare and Warzone. The I downloaded Warzone on the Series X um, and I've downloaded uh, Cold War on the PS5 now. So just that alone is like 600 gigabytes. <sighs> Fuck you, Call of Duty. Alright. 1994, December 3rd. Those are some Japanese dates. Am I collecting? Oh, those are the puzzle pieces I'm collecting. Alright, that's cool. That's cool. Alright, get me out of here. I don't have to, like... I don't have to, like, quit game, right? Because of Resume. So I can just... Pull this up. Oh, is this, like, where it gives you, like, the... The trophy... Hints? Rolling run. So you can jump in there. Wait, does this mean play that section? Or play the video? What is this? What? Is this like a challenge? I don't know what I just did. Oh no, sand traps. Sand trap again. Rolling balls with my thumb. Not a skill I have honed. New record. See how I did. Was that... 
your time. Rank one! For me? What does that mean? For me? What does that mean? What am I looking at? Global leaderboard. 31 seconds. Good lord. Good lord. So there's like challenges? Is that like... Speedrun challenges. Interesting. So those are just like in the guide. Network speedrun. So is that a, it made it look like it was a tro, is it a trophy? Did I get a trophy? I'm not entirely certain what we're looking at here, but... <laughs> cool. Switcher. Recent games. That's cool. I mean, I'll have to put the disc in for those, but... I wonder if that's... Is that the standby data from the PS4? Because that would be stupidly cool. Alright. Home. Is there, like, a games... What's a game base? Parties. Okay. Look at that, look how easy it is to get to downloads and uploads here versus the Series X, thanks. Alright. I haven't even launched Cold War yet. Like, at all. <laughs> Kinda wanna just do it right now, but... but look, it's ready to it's ready to go. It's ready to play, it's downloaded, it's installed, these games are ready to play. This is a way better, this is a way better startup experience than the Series X was. It's just, by far. What's in PlayStation Plus here? The Plus Collection. Oh. The monthly game. Add it to the library. Alright. And I love that about the PlayStation as well. You can just add stuff to like, oh, it's the PS1. Did I already re I already redeemed these, I guess. Hollow Knight. I must have added them to my library already. I'll check on my PS4. PlayStation Plus Collection. That's cool. So I haven't played a lot of these, actually. I haven't played God of War. Well, I'm not going to name all the ones I haven't played. I'll name all the ones I haven't played that I want to play. Uh, God of War. Fallout 4 would probably be fun. I might enjoy that. Last Guardian. Arkham Knight would probably be interesting. Definitely want to play Days Gone. I'm going to go ahead and Oh. Oh, it's the same thing. You can just add them to your library. I'm going to do that. Let me I'm going to go redeem them all. There's no there's no point not to just take them. They're offering them. I already got that one in there. That was on the PlayStation Plus a while ago. This that's so cool. All right. So make sure you go in here and redeem all of these. That way they're in your library. You can download them whenever cuz if slash when PlayStation decides to stop offering the PlayStation Plus collection, those will no longer be redeemable. Good to know. <laughs> Battlefield 1. Alright. I bought that on the Xbox One X. <laughs> Resident Evil Biohazard. Does that mean like the original one, or is that like one of the newer ones? It's probably one of the newer ones. I never played any of the Monster Hunter games. I've heard I've heard that they're good. I mean, they must be. There's a ton of them. I mean, I'll take Black Ops Three. <laughs> what a what a game to offer right now. A two a two. Cycles old. No, 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 download it. Wait, wait. Oh, because I'd already redeemed it. No, cancel. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Cancel and delete. I don't need you. I don't need you. That must have been offered in PlayStation Plus before, too. A lot of these games, like Uncharted 4 was offered. I think that was during the beginning parts of the lockdown. 
they did the Uncharted collection and all that stuff, so. Some of these they've already offered before, and I already have them in my library. Last of Us Remastered. Bloodborne. Until Dawn. Infamous Second Son. Alright, that was already in there. Okay. Alright. Sort and filter. So that's all of them. Cool. Those are those some good games. PlayStation Plus Collection. Included with PlayStation Plus. I already redeemed those, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Play online with your friends. Cool. Monthly games. This is really well organized. That's pretty cool for play. That's just PlayStation Plus stuff. Going to the PlayStation Store and finding the PlayStation Plus stuff was always minorly irritating. It got better over time, but. Welcome to the next generation. Oh, I'm waiting for Deathloop. This is a pre order. Yeah. That looks good. Man Eater. Hmm. Miles Morales. That's of the launch, of the big launch games. And of the ones that are exclusive to PS5. That's the only one I'm really kind of interested in. But I'm playing like four single player games right now. What am I, what am I playing through? Um, Alien Isolation, Jedi Fallen Order, uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and I'm about to start the Cold War campaign. So... <laughs> I'll get to Miles Morales, but I might pick up a disc on eBay used, you know, once everyone who, who buys it because it's like a launch game and says, okay, I played it, but whatever. <laughs> then I'll snatch up a used copy. Demon Souls, I've seen the graphics, looks fantastic. I've heard good things about it. It is not my kind of game. A hack and slash? Oh, it's $70. I'm not on board with next-gen game pricing either. I don't I don't want things to go up to seven dollars seventy dollars. I mean I'll put that on my wish list, but I'm gonna buy a disc for it. I still like owning discs, I'm sorry. <laughs> Fucking call me old school. I like having I feel like I need to own something. That said, I have the uh Series X and the Series S. I got a Series S. Uh, I explained that story in another video, um, but I'm not going to download that right now. <laughs> uh, but, um, you know, the Series S is obviously digital only, and I'm not big on digital games, so like I bought Assassin's Creed Valhalla the disc, which means that I paid money for Valhalla, and I'm glad that I own the disc, but I can't play it on the Series S, which means I, I mainly got the Series S so the kids can play games, which is great, but... There's some convenience to the digital only, but there's also some inconvenience. The reason I've been buying discs of games I even own digitally um, is, and actually that, those downloads are still continuing, so I couldn't actually play Cold War right now, right? Yeah, the campaign is still downloading. Um, but still, that's cool. These games hard, so if I stuck that disc in, I could play it. I, that's really cool. Um, yeah, I guess I won't get too much into talking about digital games. I'm, I'm planning, I want to do a different video at some point about digital versus physical games and why I still prefer physical, even though even physical games now are pretty much digital. But um, I guess just briefly since I started talking about it, some games I even have digital, I went and have gotten and bought used digi uh, physical copies off of like eBay because, you know, I have several consoles and like Evie now has a PlayStation 4 in her room you know, and I have the PlayStation 5 and the PlayStation 4, and there's a PlayStation 4 in the den. So there's like three PlayStation 4s and now a PlayStation 5. And you can only set one PlayStation across both generations, as far as I'm aware, um, as your primary PlayStation. Which means that anyone who logs into that PlayStation can play all of your digital content, even if you're the one. So I own all the games on my profile, basically, right? So if... The kids want to play a digital game that I own, so Cold War. I own the digital version of that, right? Because they were offering the cross-gen bundle, uh, so I bought it on PS4 Pro, so that I could also have it on PS5, right? That's a digital-only game, which means I can play it on any system that I'm logged into on my profile. 
my primary P at PlayStation, whichever one I set that to, anyone who logs onto that PlayStation could play that game, whether they're my profile or not. But if anyone wants to play a game that I own digitally, like on, say, Evie's PlayStation in her room is a great example, because all the digital games that I own are in my profile, which means she can't play any of my digital games on her PlayStation because it's not my primary PlayStation. So the only way she'd be able to play my games on her PlayStation is if she logged into my profile. So she wouldn't get the trophies, she wouldn't get her friends list, stuff like that. The workaround for that, like she's been playing Rocket League a little bit, is I have to, I've, had, I've got Rocket League digitally, but I also went and bought a physical copy of it. Same thing, PlayStation 4 Minecraft Edition, um, which is now just Bedrock Edition. I, ha I owned digitally. Um, and I went and bought a physical disc of it because with that physical disc, like with Rocket League or Minecraft, I can go stick it in Evie's PlayStation and now she has a license. I bought the game once and any PlayStation you stick that disc in, you can now play that game on. Which I think is just better, right? Until they fix their digital licensing system so that it's not a headache for people who legitimately pay for games, then I don't know. I mean, what they could do Here's a quick suggestion, right? Because what they don't want you to do is give your profile like people do with their Netflix accounts. <laughs> you pay for Netflix and then you give everybody that you know your password and they log into your account. They don't want people doing that with video games because they're more expensive, right? Which makes sense, I guess, if you're trying to protect your investment. I'm, I don't really like anti-consumer moves, but... So if, so if you'd have to give someone that it's not, if it's someone that's not in your family, it'd be like a friend or someone, you'd have to give them your account information and log them in onto your, prof onto your system right and keep it there so if you just required for those digital games once a month someone has to sign back in with their password you know yeah you could go to your friend's house every month and give them your password you probably don't want to give them your password you probably have to go over there and sign in unless you want your friends just to have your account password but that adds a lot more risk to it especially if you have things like if you're buying digital games you don't want your friends logging into your profile and buying your games point being that would mitigate some of that issue and then you wouldn't have to make it so that people like me who spend shit tons of money for Sony right I buy your I buy your consoles I buy in my house right now <laughs> just in the last two generations I have a PS5 I have a PS4 Pro I have two one terabyte PS4 slims right and I also have a original PS4 that I bought at launch that um, my kids have at their mother's house right so I have personally purchased five PlayStation 4s or newer. That's not counting my PS3, my PS2s, <laughs> my PS1. Um, and I buy games. And so I have four PlayStations in my house right now. And the games that I bought, if, they, if I don't physically have the disc, I can't let my kids play them on their own profiles. Like, I, I know there's not a whole lot of people probably in that position, but for the people who are their real customers who pay a lot of money, that sucks. Anyway, I'm going to get off my soapbox. This was a setup video, and I ended up playing an entire game and then talking for a while. So, good job, PlayStation. <laughs> Later, minions. <laughs>